In this episode of Motive Garage presented by Spares Box, we are upgrading the brakes in our Subaru BRZ. The first time we took our Subaru BRZ to Ludnam Raceway, the factory brakes were actually pretty good. Braking force was good and we didn't have any heat soak or brake issues. However, when we went back with the Shockworks coilovers installed and the car was a couple of seconds quicker, well, the problem started to arise with the factory brakes. Now, the actual braking force was pretty good. It was just purely the fact that we only got a couple of laps out of them before they started to degrade. So essentially, the brakes were suffering from heat soak and weren't up to the task. So we contacted our friends at V-Sport and said, let's do a brake upgrade that doesn't break the bank, that helps get rid of the fade and heat soak problems with the factory brakes. So let's take a look at the parts we decided to use, get them in the car and see if they work. Our friends at V-Sport put together a tried and proven brake upgrade package, including Goodridge braided brake lines, which stop brake line expansion and give better pedal feel, Ferodo Racing Brake Fluid, which is designed to handle more heat without boiling, and Ferodo Brake Pads front and rear that are designed for both track and performance street use, so they work cold but also cope with the heat of track work. We also picked up some new T3 4000 series slotted rotors from Disc Brakes Australia. They are designed to work at higher temperatures, both due to material and internal vent design, and the slots help reduce brake fade. The heat paint on them also helps us see if we are running the brakes in the correct temperature window on track. Step one was to remove the factory brake fluid and brake lines and install the new lines and fluid and then bleed the system. We then headed to Ludnam Raceway to see how the brake upgrade would perform. First up, we got a baseline, stock rotors and pads, which was an incredible 53.8 second lap. We then installed the new rotors and pads at the track so we could test them on the same day in the same conditions. We then went out to bed the brakes in. We then let the brakes cool down to complete a heat cycle and finish up bedding them in before heading out for a timed session. So the most important reason we wanted to upgrade the brakes in our BRZ was brake fade and pedal feel. We were finding that after a few hard laps, the brakes were starting to fall away now that we've got a faster car with the coilovers and stuff in it. So when it was stock and a stock tyre, we didn't really have any braking issues. But once the Shockworks coilovers were in, we did find we had degradation in the brakes. After probably three laps initially, if you did two cool downs, you probably only got one more flyer out of it before you started to question the brakes. So by putting obviously better fluid in so it doesn't boil, braided lines in so you have better pedal uh, feel, uh, and then we put the Ferrodo pad and the DBA rotors in, basically it could handle the heat better. And what we were able to do, although we weren't really any quick there was probably one lap in there that was, you know, 
one hundredth of a second quicker, what we were able to do is have more consistent laps. So the car was lapping within my PB a lot closer every lap. If anything, it was my mistake that was making the car not do the same lap time every time. So rather than three laps and a cool down, I was able to go more like five or six before I went, oh, you know what? The tyre needs a cool down now anyway. So basically the goal is achieved and that is a car that can do more laps and be more consistent on track because the more consistent you can be the better practice you get out there so you can get better as a driver so the brake kit did exactly what we wanted to do if we wanted more braking force honestly i think we'd need a better tire on this car before we could handle a, a larger brake rotor and bigger caliper so that's something we probably will look at in the future but for now the package works perfectly for exactly what this car is so with the factory brakes having good stopping power for the BRZ in its current power level, we knew that we weren't really going to go any faster by doing this brake upgrade. All we wanted to do was make sure that we could do more consistent laps, which is exactly what we've done with our Subaru BRZ. Instead of being able to do three laps initially, needing a cool down and only getting one more flyer, the car can now do six, seven, eight laps straight of Ludnam Raceway without suffering from brake fade. And the best thing about that, especially for a beginner driver, is the more laps you can do back to back, the more rhythm you can get, the better practice you get, and the, the quicker you can increase your driving skills. So when it comes to being a track day toy, the BRZ and 86 definitely does need a brake upgrade. Braided lines, fluid, rotors, pads. And that's what you need to have a fun track car. So where do we go from here with the brakes? Well, obviously, we're going to have to go to a totally different brake kit at some stage, but we're going to save that for the future, probably after the car is turbocharged. So don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching Motive Garage, presented by Sparesbox. We'll see you next time.